Good morning, it is now Monday the 12th of October. So, um, I'm up ready, I'm not working today, but I'm up ready to um, take Jennifer to nursery. I'll be going up to get dressed in a minute and get her up. Paul's got to go back to work. Um, that's about it really. Um, take Jennifer's nose, drop a parcel off at the post shop. I'll just check my uh, drop and go account. There should be enough money on it, but I will double check it. And then we'll take uh, Jennifer to nursery, come back. Paul's got a training today, so I'm just going to go upstairs. Jennifer was awake in the night, she had night terrors again. Um, and every now and again she'd start crying in her sleep. So I haven't had a good night's sleep, so I'm just going to go upstairs and chill. Um, probably put on YouTube in the bedroom, read a book. I will draft some listings for my eBay. I've got some stuff that I can get drafted. I've got a lot of stuff I need to measure, so I'll do that tonight. Um, but um, I'm tired, so I'm probably going to go back to sleep. <sighs> and then tomorrow I'll look at the roto and decide when to have a couple more days off because I want to um, finish sorting Jennifer's room out. It's... Uh, we had a bit of a problem trying to put a curtain pole up. Um, plastic kept coming away, but I'll build a fence and I'll put it up. And now I'm going to paint that pole. Uh, we put a batten up. I'm going to paint the batten and, and the wallpaper, which has already been painted on. I'm going to give it a good paint, make it all nice, wash it down, make it all nice and clean. Give it a fresh coat of light. Paint's quite dark in there. Um, it's, there's one grey wall and three sort of orangey walls. So we're going to paint them lighter and see how it goes. So I've got time, I'll take it off. Because she'll need a bed soon, she's getting bigger, bless her. Um, but that's it now, I'm going to finish my tea and get ready to take Jennifer to nursery. I'll see you when I get back. I'll take you upstairs with me and show you what I'm working on. I'm going to do a little bit of colouring. Quite fancy that. Nice and relaxing. Okay, I'm back from dropping Jennifer off now. I've had my breakfast and I'm upstairs. And I'm going to chill out. I'm really tired. I'm going to be reading this. It's Jack the Ripper, a 21st Century Investigation by Trevor Marritt, who was a uh, police murder squad detective. Um, says he reveals the Ripper's identity at last, but I don't think he does really. What he does do is, under the victim section, is he does print the entire inquest, uh, or a lot of the inquest information, so what people said, the notes and everything, so it's really good. Uh, so I'm going to crack on and read a bit of that, and I'll see you later. Good morning, it's Andrea. It is Tuesday and I'm back to work. Now, vlogging yesterday was a complete and utter fail. Uh, but that's just how it goes. I'm not worrying too much. I'm just trying to log into my computer at the moment, see what's going on. Um, it's a little bit earlier, it's not time to start, so I'm just checking everything's working. It doesn't look right at the moment, but hey, that's typical. I checked it yesterday, and it was all right. And now today it's all gone stupid. So, yeah. I'm just going to have to see what happens. Anyway, I will see you after work. I'm going to go get Jennifer. I'm waiting to see if um, my mechanic's picking the car up today. Uh, because I don't know yet, so I have to wait and see. Ah, right, okay, now it's trying to sign it on as me. It's very weird, this system. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to chill out, watch a bit of TV before it's time to actually start, um, get everything up and running, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, guys, it's the end of Tuesday. I must admit I haven't done very much today. I've done a bit of colouring in my... Where's it gone? Oh, my Johanna Bafford calendar for... I'll find the front, I'll show you it. 2021. So it's the um, Inky Wonderland colouring book. Uh, it's the calendar, and I'm currently doing January. But I'm going to do the back web first. I'm going to put this up in Jennifer's room when it's done. So I've done a bit of that. I'm editing a video, which is the Limache first impressions video, but it's taking forever because it's only doing it at six point six frames a second. I'm going to have to update the program, I think. Um, there is an update for it, so I'll have to put it on tomorrow and update it so that it'll probably run faster. And I probably need to sort out my PC. My laptop's uh, it's old. I need to get a new one. I'm looking at the moment, seeing if there's anything interesting coming up on Prime Day. <sighs> So I'm going to head off to bed in a minute, do a bit of colouring and watch some YouTube up there. Yeah, it's a bit it really. It's been a really meh day. Not a lot going on at the moment. We can't go anywhere. We can't do very much. So I said, I pulled my two items. I sold um, a top and the Cindy wardrobe. So that's going on. I'm just in the process of... I was going to do my accounts and everything, but it's running so slowly because of it doing the um, the video. I'm just going to leave the video and then... 
I'll uh, do the accounts tomorrow when I'm not doing a video. So there'll be no video up today, which is Tuesday, but you'll have know that by now. But, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm off upstairs. Good morning, everybody. It is now Wednesday, peak, peak of the week, happy hump day. Not a lot of vlogging's going on this week, and I will admit that's because I'm not doing as much as last week, because obviously I'm back at work. I'm sitting ready to start, I'm just loading up my computer, um, ready. It's I've got 10 minutes yet, but sometimes it takes a while to load. Um, my plans for today are not a lot, again, because... I obviously got to pick Jen up. She did not want to go to nursery this morning. She would not put her shoes on. And I'd say, do you want to go to nursery? She said, no. She did not want to go. So I did say to her, look, if you want to come home, if you're not happy and you want to come home, just say mummy please to the girls. And I said, she'll she'll ask you to come home by saying mummy please. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine when she um, gets set up. I'm just hoping now that uh, everything will load because... I set everything up on Monday to check it was all working for Tuesday and it was and then yesterday it didn't load and I had trouble getting into everything. Looks like it's alright at the moment. So, although, I have the messages from yesterday aren't there, but that doesn't really matter. Yeah, that just from yesterday that didn't work, so let's get rid of that. So who's off? Dawn's off today, that's normal. That's fine, looks like everything's working okay. So just get my emails up, just to see what's been going on. And yeah, so my plan is, not a lot, because uh, quarter two, Carl, the mechanic, is picking up my car to change the oil filter and check everything's there, getting it ready for winter. And then he's gonna have it on the weekend. I've got to change my password. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely. That's great. That's just some information that I was asking for yesterday. So that's handy from one of our team leaders. Yeah, it's all good, actually. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, just looking at something on the computer. It seems to be all logging in fine. But yeah, we've... Um, yeah, so he's picking up the car to do the oil filter the back windscreen wiper is not working so he's gonna look at that on the weekend which is fine the oil filter is far more important um i can always wipe the back window if it's got a lot of dew on it or condensation but generally it's all right it's just in case we have a lot of rain and i need to go anywhere which isn't looking likely because the lockdown's been extended for another week i think we'll be in lockdown on and off for the next year or so i can't see it changing it, it's, it's if they're not going to let us learn to live with it and I get that they've got to protect the NHS and not overwhelm it, but it's so hard to know what to do. i better crack on and get myself logged in because uh, it's getting on. Um, I'll see you afterwards. My plan is for this afternoon is if uh, if Jennifer wants to play, we'll just find something to do. Um, I've got an order to pack. I want to pack it, even though I probably won't do it till Friday, take it down till Friday. And I want to start my Beauty of Horror colouring page. I've got my Karen Dash Neo Colour 2s out because I want to use a few of those for the background and I'll try and do that first. Um, and I'll be doing that when I finish work. So I'll see you when I finish. Bye. Hi guys, it's evening. Jennifer's in bed. Paul's down says, I've just had a lovely shower. This week's vlog is going to be very boring because I just haven't shown you anything. It's my fault. I keep leaving the camera upstairs. Um, so what's happened today? Not a lot really. Um, I've been reading a, a book series that I started the other day called... The first book was called The Perfectly Proper Paranormal Museum by Kirsten Weiss and it's really good and I've got three of them and they're four so far and I've read two, I read two one day and I'm reading the third one. I won't be getting the next one until I get paid because obviously I, 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 the first one was free, the second one was £2.20, the second, the third one was £3 something so I'm assuming book four is going to be slightly more so I, I can wait, I've got plenty to read but I can wait until I get paid but they're really good fun, they're really good fun. So I'm going to try and finish that off um, later. I'm going to do a bit of filming now. Uh, not a huge amount. It's not going to be a colouring chat tonight. I'll probably do that tomorrow night. Just simply because I want to start the Arteza one. I've had them for a while. I haven't used them yet. I haven't swatched them or anything. So I thought I might start the swatching tonight. Um, I'll do a little bit of swatching each day. I don't have to do a lot. I'm just going to take my time with it. I haven't picked a picture for it yet. Um... I was thinking about using this month's Colouring Heaven the Zodiac one, but I actually just want to get colouring in that, so 
I don't know. I've got two pictures on the go, three pictures on the go up here. One's a pattern. One is in uh, Relax With Art, which is a UK magazine that I'm doing a little bit each night. And the other one is the Alan Roberts Beauty of Horror, the one with the heads. I'll show you what I've done so far. It's not a lot. Um, got to find it first because I've lost my tag. So I'm currently working on the background. So I'm using the Neo Colour 2s. And I'm going to do a blended background going from black to yellow. So as you can see, it's double page. I've only done one side. I was going to put the, the lightest colour down the bottom and finish this bit here with the oranges. And then I'll go and do this side exactly the same. And then I'll get the water brush out and do it. I might do a bit of that tonight if I can. At the moment, I'm liking the way it's looking. So I'm thinking that might blend together really well so I've overlaid the blue onto the black the purple onto the blue the red onto the purple uh, sorry the, the light the pinky purple onto the purple the red onto the pink and the orange onto the red I'm going to use yellow at the bottom and put yellow onto the orange and I might put a bit of yellow through the entire thing and then I'll do the the same on the other side so that's what I'm working on there very I, I like it it's a gruesome picture I'm probably going to use the do and ink tenses on this I think I, I, I'm thinking of that yeah I think it'll look nice but so I've got to get the background done and let it dry first so I'm going to keep working on that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up the camera the camera's set up I've just got to put the memory card in get the artists out and start swatching them and then I'm going to look for my next colour and chat book I haven't decided yet I've got loads I've got Chibi Girls by Jade Summer the horror I got two Deborah Muller books. I got loads. I got loads that I could do. I got two more. Well, I've got you know, three more of these. Because this is two. This is one. I've got book three and four and the Halloween treats one as well. So the only one I'm missing now from the series is the Christmas one, the Christmas horror one, which I will get next month sometime. I do like this. I mean, I also want to do one in the fourth one, the creature feature one. I want to do the picture of all the the horror people sitting in the cinema watching a movie. I think that would be so cool. And again, I'd probably use ink tenses on that. I just love the way that the water works in these books. Um, oh yeah, and I've got another pattern on. I've got a Halloween pattern on the go as well. I've got loads of patterns on the go as usual. This is about right for this time of the month where I've got loads on the go. I've got my Johanna Bassford calendar downstairs, the beauty of horror, Jade Summer Halloween patterns, the right, uh, the relax with art one, another pattern. I think that's it. So about five or six whips, which is normal. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to crack on with this uh, first bit of uh, swatching. I'll probably just do the first tray and I'll put it underneath at the bottom. That's how I tend to do it. And that'll be it then for tonight. And then tomorrow when I'm, I'll do my colour and chat first. And then I'll do the second tray and then I'll leave it. I might do the third tray. It depends on how much I get done tomorrow. But got a headache again today. It's the, the weather. Um, it's really not good. I did, the shower would help. The steam helped. But but yeah. So I'm reading. Okay, so I'm reading that book. I'm still reading this Jack the Ripper book. Um, I'm at the end of Annie Chapman. Yeah. Uh, so that's good and then it's on to Elizabeth Stride. I do like the way he does include all of the coroner's notes or a lot of the coroner's uh, inquest uh, notes and then I'm hoping soon to receive the new Andrew Firth book which is uh, Pictures from the Abyss which I will show you when it comes. I'm very excited. It's first edition, first print in, signed um, it looks absolutely stunning. Done, done in the same vein as Ripperland. I can't wait to see it. I'm very excited for it. Everybody is. Uh, I, was, I was lucky enough to get it in on time on the pre-order to get the signed version. Generally, I, I'm not bothered about signed version, but I think it would be nice to have with my little growing Ripperest collection. And I'm going to be having to move all the stuff on the second shelf now to move the shorter books down because they're getting good. Another book I recommend is this, well, actually both of those, Victorian Scandals, uh, The Battered Body Beneath the Flagstones by Michelle Morgan. And the next one down is Vivian Mayer by Pamela Banos. That was an interesting book as well. So, as you can see, there's all sorts of different books. Then we've got Roman Britain, A Delusion of Satan, which is about the Salem Witch Trials, The Black Death, Book of Spells, Witches, Dreams, 
Thomas Hardy biography. Then over here we've got more dreams, mythic tarot, spells, dreams, truth about witchcraft, the kitchen witch, the wicker bible, an introduction to the tarot, necropolis which is about London deads. And then on the next shelf it carries on with the the Real Witch's Kitchen, Element Encyclopedia of 5,000 Spells, Essential Wicker, Ultimate Encyclopedia of Spells, Tarot and Illustrated Guide, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner, Celtic Myth and Magic, Haunted Wales, This Haunted Isle, the other one is um, Haunted Buildings but it's the other way around because it's a very thin book, a very long book and it's infrared and then Haunted Britain and Ireland. Next shelf down is all more history ancient history and then there's some guidebooks to various castles including Cardiff oh we got the the SS Great Britain Raglan Castle St Michael's Mount guide there English heritage guidebooks to Tintagel and we got uh, a Knights Templar book I bought in France archaeology uh, Britain in the 50s the Holocaust the Romanovs, Making a Living in the Middle Ages, The Diary of Anne Frank, uh, Roses of, from the Earth, which is the biography of Anne Frank, The Struggle from Mastery, Britain, 1066 to 1284, Mercia in the Making of England, The Normans, and then we've got Egypt by Joyce Tildesley, Tutankhamun, Tutankhamun Prophecies, that's a hard book to read, Kingdom of the Ark, that's a good book, enjoy that, Thebes in Egypt, The Lost Tomb, Gold of the Pharaohs, The Keys of Egypt, which is about uh, the deciphering of the hieroglyphic, that's a good one, The Murder of Tutankhamun and Myths and Legends of Egypt, and then there's a book about the Rosetta Stone that Chris got me. You can't see the bottom shelf because uh, it is covered, as you can see, with all my colouring bits, but that is all Egypt stuff. I'll put the two on the end, which are World Archaeology and the Atlas of Archaeology, and um, yeah that's a lot of books and I've waffled for eight and a half minutes I'm gonna see you tomorrow it's Thursday no yeah it is is it Wednesday today it is Wednesday today yay it's Thursday tomorrow Phil's come in to put a light in the shed so I'll show you that tomorrow I'll show you my new light hopefully um and then obviously it's Friday and it's weekend I will say I have booked next Friday off, not this Friday coming, but next Friday because I had five annual days to book. So I've got one day off that week, two days in November, and then another long weekend in December, and then of course some days of Christmas. So there'll be a mixture of painting Jennifer's room out, doing eBay, and colouring, obviously. This Friday, I'm, it's either going to be eBay or colouring. It might be just colouring and chilling out in the bedroom, I think. The next one. Anyway, that's it for tonight. It's nine minutes of absolute tosh. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, it is Thursday morning. It's a bit chilly so I've put my dressing gown back on. I'm just setting up to start work in five minutes. I'm watching John the Bibliophile colourist. Um, he's got a couple of videos up I haven't watched, so I'm going to watch those. And yeah, just getting ready to, to start the day. Like I said, uh, Phil's coming to do my light today in the shed, so that'll be fun. I've had a sale this morning, so I had one the other day, and I've had another one this morning. So those will be posted out tomorrow, which is great. I did manage to list five items last night, which I'm really pleased about. I'm hoping to do that today. I just need to get them drafted, so I'll do that after I finish this job, because obviously this is my main job. <laughs> it's more important to make sure this is done um, correctly. I'm just getting logged in now. Uh, but that's it for now. Um, I did do a fair bit of my um, Beauty of Horror book. I'll uh, actually show you it later. I do need to blend in the black and the blue a bit more. I'm going to put the, the purple over the top and re-blend it. So it's fine. It's not a major diff, not a major issue. It looks quite quite creepy actually. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to carry on and get today done. See you later. Hi everyone. I'm a bit out of focus here. I finished work for the day. What's going on with the camera? Um, Jennifer's having a little doze next door. I'm upstairs at the moment reading. Phil hasn't finished the light yet but I will take you up to the um, shed with me when I go up because I've got a couple of orders to pack so I'll show you what's going out tomorrow. Uh, he's got to order some heavy duty cable so make sure it's safe and the fitting and he's also going to fix our normal outside light as well which goes on outside the back door when we want to go out at night so I can see to go up the steps when I go up to the shed. It also means we'll know the shed light's on because they'll both go on at the same time. So what am I reading? I am not reading Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Even though I'm on Liz Stride and I need to crack on with that. But I got a new book in the post today. It's Marilyn Monroe, The Last Interview and Other Conversations uh, with an introduction by Sadie Doyle. So I'm just reading the introduction at the moment. So this contains... Uh, let me just... Uh, <coughs> 
get into it and say so uh, obviously the introduction the 1951 model blonde conversation with robert Kahn from collier's magazine from september the 8th 9, 8, 1951 quiz in marilyn monroe interview with helen hover motion picture magazine january 1954 the new marilyn monroe are conversations with pete martin the saturday evening post uh, may 5th 1956 that turned into a book i believe which i have and then we've got conversations with Marilyn uh, conversations with w uh, William J Weatherby from the book conversations with Marilyn uh, 1961 first published in 1976 I definitely have that book and the last interview a last long talk with a lonely girl a conversation with Richard Merriman for Life magazine August 17th 1962 when it was published so yes so this is the book it came today it's a very nice little paperback with a little bit of artwork around on the front i don't mind that artwork it's quite nice actually and on the back it's got quotes from ella fitzgerald which said, and she says i owe marilyn monroe a real debt she was an unusual woman a little ahead of her times and she didn't know it marlon brando said marilyn was a sensitive misunderstood person much more perceptive than was generally assumed she had been beaten down but had a strong emotional intelligence a keen intuition for the feelings of others the most refined type of intelligence and lauren bacall said the minute that the camera turned on her she became an incredible creature she was just herself and she was absolutely dazzling as herself so yes i'll let you know a bit more about what i think of this obviously this is from magazine articles so that's going to be interesting on its own so i'm going to curl up and read this while well, Jennifer's asking. Paul's still working, so he's got a meeting. I don't really want to be getting in his way. <laughs> so I'm relegated to the spare room, my library, as you well know, uh, as I waffled on about it last night, as I am now. And yes, so I'm going to read a bit of this and then I might read a bit on Liz Stride. I'm not going to do any colouring yet. I will do some later on because I need to film my colouring chat. And we will be colouring in one of the Deborah Muller books, I think. Yes. I think it's the Deborah Muller I picked. I also want to have a look. See if there's a Halloween related one in April Amber's Chibi Girls 3. Because that would be nice to do. Because I haven't done one in that book. But uh, that'll be later. So I'm going to crack on and have a little read now. I'll see you afterwards when we go up the shed. I hope he hasn't made a mess in there yet. Hi guys, this is going to be the most boring weekly vlog ever because I just keep forgetting to do any vlogging. Phil didn't come yesterday. Well, no, Phil came yesterday. We had to order a part and get some thick cabling. That hasn't arrived, so he's not coming now. If it arrives, he'll come later today. If it doesn't arrive, he'll come on Monday to do the light, which is fine. I can manage till then. Um, and like I said, I've got two to do, so once I've picked up Jennifer and had some lunch, I will go and do that. Um, and if I remember, I'll take you with me. I'm actually working. Um, I'm looking at emails, waiting for calls to come through and it's 20 to 12 so i've got less than an hour of my shift left then i'll have a quick snack and i'll go and get jennifer and then i have to go and pack these items i want to take them down the road tomorrow and get them off in the post tomorrow morning's first post which goes well the post goes at 11 ish so as long as i take it down around 10 ish it should be fine and we can go and play in the park if it's nice it's supposed to be nice this weekend and then nasty on monday raining on monday they're talking about implementing a national lockdown for two weeks starting next friday which means we won't get our sunday lunch because we're booked to go out they want to close all non-essential businesses for two weeks it's gonna be a nightmare i will be very very annoyed because some of us don't go anywhere anyway as you see i'm very very tired <laughs> um i was going to do some filming last night but I really didn't feel up to it. I was feeling a bit down and Jennifer didn't want to go to sleep and she was screaming in her room and I thought, I can't be filming with her screaming in the background. So I just, um, I calmed her down, put her back to bed and she still, after 10 minutes, started kicking off again for about 10 minutes then she went to sleep. By that point, it was nearly 11, half 11 o'clock and I thought, I'm not doing it. I'm not filming this time of night. So I just, I read, I finished the paranormal book I was reading, which was Deja Mu. That was uh, fun by Kirsten Weiss book three in the uh, perfectly proper paranormal museum series it's, it is good i'll have to get book four and i've read a good portion of jack the ripper i am now on Catherine eddowes which is great i'm dying to finish that so i can start with time with norma jean 
and I also want to pull in my big app the notes of Agatha Christie the complete works is about her writing style and all her notes that she made on the books which I started a couple of years ago and haven't finished and I want to read it so I'm going to pull that one in and they're also going to start reading a book on the princes in the tower which will be interesting so another non-fiction and I still got to listen to the end of the death of December on my on audible but Paul's knitting my headphones because his headphones have broken so as soon as I got a cheap enough pair in noodles I should buy myself a new pair <laughs> I might have a look on Amazon I'm not getting them yet though but uh I like headphones like this. I don't like the ones that go in your ear and they hurt. I like the ones that sit on your head like that. They're better for your ears as well. Well, I'm going to get back to work. I've got some emails to do. Um, luckily the box is going down. And I'll hopefully see you in, later on in the shed. Oh, I can't wait to get this light. It will be a lot better for winter because when it's dark at three o'clock, after the clocks go back, it's going to be very hard to get anything done up there. It, I, I, what with working and, and playing with Jennifer it is easier for me to do it in the evenings after tea uh, but of course by then it'll be pitch black so I'm hoping that it'll all be okay I'll see you later I better get back to work I can't find the off switch hang on we'll use this one on the top instead I know I know I still haven't packed my two orders and I still haven't done anything Phil didn't come today because his part didn't come that's fine he'll come Monday I'll get up early tomorrow <sighs> oh dear, this is going to be the most boring vlog you've ever seen. I'm going to make some videos now for colouring. And this is not what I'm filming me colouring. This is just something I thought I really want to start. Um, I'd seen somebody else had it out and I wanted to colour in it. So I'm colouring this one. Um, at the moment, you won't be able to tell anything because I'm doing her hair and I'm doing it all a stone, all of it, her dress, all the floaty bits. It's all going to be stone. She's frozen. Um, as you can see it is stone so I've got a um, I'm using the touch five markers I started doing her hair and the top bit um, with uh, warm grey one I'm going to do her face with warm grey 0.5 and her arms and her skin and the rest of it pretty much will be one which isn't that dark and it gives me somewhere to go to put darker stuff on it or lighter stuff on it um, I want her face and arms quite pale I'm not too worried about the feathers um, but yeah I like the way it looks actually with the the grey on it it does look like stone so I, I, I shouldn't be carrying this book because it's not Halloween one but I just felt the urge sometimes you just got to go with it so I'm going to carry on swatching the Artesias and then I'm going to do a colour and chat um, yeah I'll see you tomorrow. It's Saturday evening and once again I just completely forgot to vlog. We have been out and about today. I had to go to Tesco's to buy some new trousers because mine have um, got holes in them. I did buy a colouring book. It has now disappeared. Oh here it is. It's a relax with art one. It's a back in time, a colouring journey. So it's like different decades. So it's fun. And some trousers. Three pairs of uh, trousers. Because both the pairs I've got got holes in. And a new pair of pyjamas, which after the quiz, which we'll be doing in a minute, which is the music trivia, I will be putting on. Yay! Well, I'll be having a shower and then putting them on. I like to have a shower before bed. I like to be bed, clean in bed. And um, I'm trying to edit a video. It's taking forever because it, it dropped. The frame rate was at 14 to 16 frames per second. And it's only dropped to three, and I don't know why. And it's a new program as well. It's the update. Um, we're supposed to be quizzing in half an hour. If it doesn't do it soon, I'm going to have to turn it off and start again afterwards. Which means the video won't be up to date like it's supposed to. It's Sunday tomorrow. Um, don't know if I'll have my car, because it's supposed to be picked up tonight by my mechanic. So um, my dad will probably take a shopping tomorrow and it'll just be me and dad. Oh, what's that? That might be him now. Let me just have a quick look. Ah, he's on his way. Lovely. Great. I'll just say thanks. If I can get into my phone. Carl's on his way. Yeah. Oh, whoopee. I don't mind that. You know me. I don't mind whether it's a pint or a half. I'm going to sort the car out for Carl. So, we, as you can hear, we're doing the quiz. I'm hoping I'm not going to get um, knocked. You turn down a little bit, Paul, because of the copyright. Um, 
we had a bit of an issue when the quiz was about to start in the fact that my computer decided to c crash and restart and then of course it restarted and wanted to do an update so i was like oh no we're gonna miss all the questions so we quickly ran over to the desktop there's the desktop you can see my sweets because i have to have sweets and um we very quickly, well as quickly as it had let us, got back into the quiz and I'm randomly hitting questions, answers to questions that I can't hear. I have no idea, just randomly. And there's like 30 odd people in the quiz, 36 or so, and we still made 11th position and we're higher than some of the people that usually win the quiz. <coughs> so I'm not sure what's going on with there. It was quite <laughs> random, wasn't it, Paul? So we're actually on the bigger monitor now, as you can see. So we missed about five questions. Missed about five questions, although I was randomly hitting the keypad, so... But yeah, so yeah, we're going to go back and carry on with the quiz. Having problems with the other computer now. We've probably gone down, not because we missed any questions, just because we're useless. Um, I think I asked you this before, Gene, Come on, how come is your, your, your studio... Is, is that your front room, by the way? Or is it actually... <laughs> we're just waiting to see what's... Uh... Uh, yeah, we're just like taking over with instruments and stuff. The schools are. It was like we were at eleven. Where is the uh, third? Where is the this this yeah. host Wes, he does like you to have your webcam on. Fortunately, because we've had to move on to the other computer, we haven't got a webcam. We're lucky we got sound. So because we've got external speakers which we use for the quiz in, we we're able to move them over. Schools are here. They come. Um, here we go. Well, oh, we have gone too far down. 120. Okay. Did I miss us? <laughs> We're at eight. <laughs> That's mad. Eight. Oh, tongue, tongue pops is brilliant. She knows everything. Anyway, that's the half time round. We'll be back for round two. Yeah, we didn't quiz last night, by the way, because we were tired. I think I mentioned that. Anyway, gonna go to the loop. End of the round. Dread thing where we are now is dreadful. But they were doing things where we put song titles in a sentence and have to guess the artist. So I did. He told me I was always on, that you were always on my mind, but my love letters were marked return to sender and I was left at the Heartbreak Hotel. I could do loads, but they'd all be really old ones. Like I could do one for Doris Day. Which would be I said to him, Move over, darling. But he was having none of my pillow pillow talk. So I advised him to send me no flowers, and he said, Que sera, sera. Easy. No schools yet. Don't know what he's doing about that. Waiting for the schools. Maybe two and a half to break. Need a wee. Again. It's all the cider I'm drinking. Schools. Finally. Hope I don't get sucked on this one, because they're playing um, Oasis in the back row. I'm talking really loudly to drown it out. We're at 10th. We've only gone down two spaces, Paul. It's not bad. <laughs> it's the end of the quiz. It's been fun. Amazing that we were at 11th before um, we even started. started, pretty much, because we weren't there. Um, this round's not been too bad. They've been hard. It was a bit of a, it was an evil mode quiz. You could leave six, lose 16 points, but we didn't lose anything. and We didn't get all of them. We just left some of them blank. Fingers crossed. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It was good fun and we were writing all these um, things where you put the songs um, from a certain artist in a sentence that makes sense. So, for instance, one of the ones, I did three, didn't I? I did the Elvis one, I did the Madonna one, I also did a Beatles one. I did, I met Eleanor Rigby while walking down Penny Lane and she said, Hey Jude, it's been a hard day's night and I could use some help. I said, Look, don't get me wrong, but I've got to get back to Strawberry Fields forever. <laughs> Why don't you do one for me? Put the artist and write me a little sentence that makes sense with some of their song titles. We're just waiting for the final scores. I'm for the scores, the scores on the door. Oh, I love the music trivia one. It's a lot more. F I can get more of them right on the music trivia one. So look, there's this one next week. Next Friday is the musicals quiz. It's not just movie musicals. It's all musicals, classic, modern, stage, and film. I'm looking forward to that. And we will be in that if you want to join us. So if you go to MB Tickets or MD Quizzes into Google and go to Ticket Taylor, you can buy tickets. They're only five pound. Where's well, that's five pounds and thirty-three pence, thirty-five pence. Sorry, with the ticket booking fee. You need Zoom, obviously, and you need a second, second device as a keypad. Um, it's all good fun. Um, yeah, do come and join us if you can. It'll be a right laugh. It always is. We have a few beers, we have a laugh, we listen to musicals. Sometimes we even sing live.
he made this the next one now. There we go. Right, let's have a look and see where we all finish then on the quiz. It's a very exciting last round. One by ten boxes. Uh, right, if you see your team name, Give yourself a round of applause, everybody. Oh, here we go. It's all a bit of fun. We're in the middle then. Uh, we've got Savage Angels, Nutkin, Sweatshop Boys, The Pigs, Hammer Hammer, 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 Hammer,
So thing is the second item was going to a lady in the West Midlands who has the same name as somebody I work with. It's really bizarre. Um, so that's done. I am waiting for payment on a skirt and if that comes before it gets too dark to work or even if it's dark if I feel like coming up here I will. Um, I might get that posted out tomorrow as well. If not it'll go off Tuesday or Wednesday. Depends on how I feel. I'm gonna go now and see what's going on in the house. I finished my cup of tea and then I might go and do a bit of colouring if Jennifer's having a sleep before I get dinner. So this has been a very weird week where you haven't really seen me do anything but tomorrow hopefully you'll see the light in the shed because obviously it's not in there at the moment. Um, yeah, hopefully you'll see the light in the shed. I'll let you know what's going on with lockdown because it's supposed to be a no uh, announcing that tomorrow. So there's not going to be a lot to really vlog if we're in lockdown. I mean obviously we'll still be allowed to go out and exercise so we'll still be able to take Jennifer down the park and places like that if it's nice and go for walks so we can take you with me. But there's not going to be a lot going on. If they're so shutting all non-essential businesses from Friday, that means no auctions. Obviously, I didn't go this, didn't do anything this weekend. There was nothing I wanted particularly. Um, there were records, but I got so many records to still clean and sort before and listen to and get listed and stuff like that that uh, I thought there's no point buying more records. Again, I'm so far behind with them. We are listening to them when we can, but again, we have to wait for Jennifer to be in bed because we don't want her damaging the record player or the turntable. So I'm going to go in now, finish my tea, go to the bathroom and see about maybe doing a bit of video in or a bit of colouring. I haven't decided yet. It depends how I feel. So that's it for now. I'll see you in a bit. I don't know what's happening next. Look at my hair. Look at the roots. It's getting very long. Not as grey as I thought. Anyway, I'm going back in. I will see you in a little while. I'll let you know what's going to be happening. It's going to be a very short, very boring vlog. I know. I know. I can't find the off switch. I'm pressing the buttons. Nothing's happening. It's Sunday night. Everybody's in bed. It's not that late. But I've got a headache. Paul's a bit annoyed at something. Nothing to do with me or anybody else apart from... Oh, it's a long story. I'm not going to go into Um, um, Jennifer's asleep. She's been running around and she's tired. Anyway, I'm going to do a bit of colouring and then I'm going to turn my light, big light off, put my little light off and read a bit of my Jack the Ripper book. So this is the end of a very, very, very boring weekly vlog. <laughs> I'll admit that. Hopefully next week's won't be as boring and I'll have the shed light and I'll be able to do a bit of organising in there a bit more. Um, don't know if anything will be happening. We could be on a full lockdown by the end of next week. Who knows what's going to happen. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to go and uh, colour a bit more in Serene. Uh, read a little bit more of my book and try and get an early night. Normally I don't go to sleep till gone midnight. I'm, I was going to watch some YouTube, but I've got to be honest, with my head hurting, I really don't want to. I'm even dubious about reading and colouring, but I need to try and relax and it might help the headache go away. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and it didn't bore you too much. <laughs> I'll see you all next week. Bye, guys.